That's correct. When you stop a girl on the street, you need to be directly in front of her and also leave enough space so that she can slow down and comfortably stop. Hey, excuse me. Can I tell you something really quickly? Sure. I just saw you and wanted to let you know that you look really elegant. I uh, love this skirt as well. <laughs> it's really summery. Thank you. This is good because you've given her a nice compliment. It's direct, it's made her smile, and it's made her feel like speaking to you. So it's, it's a nice, confident way to start in the street. So what's your plans for today? I'm actually going to the park uh, to feed the yeah. squirrels with my friend. What? Feed squirrels? Yeah. And ducks or squirrels? <laughs> no, just the squirrels. These we, little uh, guys, yeah? Yeah, we got them to be our friends. What do you of. feed them? Like hot dogs? <laughs> <laughs> um, almonds? Almonds? Yeah. That's their favourite, is it? It seems to be. That's nice. Well, they're really cute, aren't they? They are very cute. You yeah, like animals? Fun. I do. Mm, nice. Yes. That mm. sounds fun, actually. I never thought of that. But buy some almonds, go feed the squirrels. You should try it sometime. Okay. And what are you doing today? Yeah, I was just walking. There's a nice park down there. And then I'm going to meet some friends, but I've got like 40 minutes and that's why when I saw you and I thought you looked friendly, so that's why I came over and said hi. Okay. In the early stages of an interaction, you actually do want to make most of the conversation so that she has a chance to relax, get comfortable talking to you, uh, snap out of the mindset that she was in, thinking about what she's doing and where she's going. So that's the right one. We might hire some bikes and go riding around the park. There's like a nice spot where they rent out bikes and it's on the lake. And yeah, whatever. but you, so. you ride bikes in there? Well, I'm English. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we do, like the penny farthing and the, the suit on. Okay. I'm sitting really up, up straight. That's very no, fancy I'm, for bikes. I, I will change. I will okay. change yeah. Yeah, speaking of squirrels, you can help me with this. Okay. Uh, I was thinking of getting my hair cut. What okay. do you think? Do you prefer long or short hair? Um, mm. I kind of like the long hair. Yeah? Have you ever put it back? Well, like in a ponytail? Yeah. Yeah, I tried that. Is it, maybe try it more? Could do, yeah. You think it looks it's still like masculine, it's all right? I kind of like it. Okay, nice one. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> sure. Not the best option, and psychologically, it's important to remember that asking for advice on dumb stuff as if you don't know what you're doing is not such a good thing to do in the early stages with a girl. My name is Richard, by the way. Hey, nice to meet you. And your name? Alexa. <laughs> It's good that you have a name. I was just waiting for it a while, but it's good that you have one. Thanks. Rather than just asking her name, you can always introduce yourself. It's a little bit different to what most guys do, and it's a positive difference. What kind of things do you like to do in your free time? Mm, I actually don't have a lot of free time. I work, well, a, I work a lot, so when I'm not working, I like to be outside. Yeah. Um, yeah, I try to be outdoors as much as possible. I actually bike where you mentioned. Um, okay. Yeah, I just try to be outdoors. So you're one of these active people that's always doing stuff? <laughs> yeah, it's hard for me to stay sitting down. Not couch potato? Well, every now and then, but in general, no, more active than okay. down. I'm kind of semi-active. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I do some active stuff, but actually I prefer it when, you know, someone else plans everything and they like come to this and I always say yes. Okay. But given the choice, I often just chill at home. That's I like fair. chilling. You know, I really love how you just dress really casual and you don't, you don't, you know, some girls like make loads of effort. So it's good that you re don't really care about how you look. It's, well, it's kind of a it's refreshing. weird thing to say. Well, just what comes to mind, you know? Hmm. Well, you go have fun with your friends. It was well, kind of nice mean? meeting you. I was giving you a compliment. <laughs> There's basically no time when you would ever need to say something like this. It's a neg, you know, it's making her feel bad. And in the case where the girl seems very nice and bubbly and friendly and chatty and whatever, definitely never need to use it. 
She's very bitchy and tough. You could think about it, but even in those cases, it's usually better to tease her playfully than to say something straight rude. Okay, listen, like I said, I'm meeting those friends, but mm. why don't you give me your number and we can um, keep in touch, maybe yeah, meet sometime. Yeah, sure, sure. There you go. Cool. Nice fun. <laughs> Have fun. You too, <laughs> see ya. Well done, you got a fake number. Mm, not good enough. Have you ever tried climbing? You know, like on these walls? <laughs> I've heard of it. Um, I've always wanted to, but I haven't yet. You know, it's very cool. We've got some place that we go to. I've only been like four times, but it's really fun. Very good exercise and just really cool. So you should definitely try it. Yeah, I would like to. When you're speaking to girls, it's good to be passionate about something and a good choice is something you love to do, a hobby. Now, why don't you see if you can go out and sell someone on it, make it so that they're smiling like, yeah, I'd like to do that, that sounds great. So it's, it's the right option in this case. Okay, so you said you like biking and rock climbing. Yeah. Um, any other like outdoor activities? Yeah, loads of stuff. Yeah. Um, racket sports. Like tennis? Um, yeah, tennis and also squash. You know what squash is? <laughs> it's the English thing. I don't know I about mean, most it, sports no. were invented in England, obviously, but I think they play it everywhere. It's, um, it's like when you're, you're usually inside and you've got a wall like in front to the sides and in the back and you okay. can hit the ball like anywhere. And it, I think it's the best exercise. You're constantly running and... Yeah, yeah. it sounds it's very cool. kind of dangerous, but fun. No, oh, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> the ball is only um, like that big, so even if it hits you, it's not too bad. Okay. You and... can smash each other with, with the rackets, but <laughs> rarely happens. Hmm. You and should try it. I might sometime. Uh, you said you work in IT? Yeah, I work in IT and actually I love my job. I think that, uh, you know, people think IT is boring, but at the moment it's like the most exciting field, right? To work in, there's so many cool companies. I really love my job. So happy to, <laughs> to go to work every day. And um, yeah, it's fascinating for me. That's great. If you have a job and you think it's boring, that's not important. Um, the thing that you need to do is show that you have passion for something. If, it's, if you do like your job, even if you think other people are not interested, speak passionately about it and you can get them to buy in, feel at least the emotion, even if they don't understand it that well. So, you know, don't worry about it being boring. Worry about how you tell others about it and hope that your emotion will be contagious. So yeah. do you always stop girls in the street? No, not often at all, but I think when I'm single, when mm -hmm. I like the look of someone, I figure why not start a conversation because you never know what will happen. Yeah. Could become friends, could date, or just have a nice interaction. Why not, right? Definitely. This is the right choice because actually it's honest and it's disarmingly honest. So it's going to take her back a little bit, but it's going to also show that you're telling tr the truth, that she can trust you and show that you're confident enough to, to say that instead of making up some rubbish. So it's the right choice. Well done. Listen, I do need to go and meet those friends, but yeah. why don't I give you my number and then you can um, call me sometime and message me or whatever and we meet. Yeah, sure. Well, there you go. Saved it in there's Richard. <laughs> Good. Cool. Oh, uh, have fun with your friends. Yeah, you too. See ya. Giving a girl your number and not taking hers is very pointless. It leaves the, you know, chance that you're never going to see her again totally up to her depending you know how busy her life is and what she's got going on and in most cases girls don't like making the first move so it should be up to you to take the number if you like her and do the right things so that you see her again listen i need to meet some friends but 
why don't you give me your number and we'll keep in touch and yeah. find the time to meet. Sure, that'd be great. You did pretty well. You didn't get the very best result, which meant that you made a few decisions that weren't quite ideal, but you did enough to get the result and see the go again. You got the number, so well done. That's correct. When you stop a girl on the street, you need to be directly in front of her and also leave enough space so that she can... Maybe we should go for a Hey girls, yeah. sorry, excuse me. Can okay. you help me with something really quickly? Uh, yes, okay. okay, good. Right, mm -hmm. what it is, is um, tomorrow is my best friend's birthday uh -huh. and she's a girl and she looks kind of similar to you, you know, kind of stylish and stuff. And I want it, she loves fashion. So I want to get her okay. something, you know, like something to do, like jewelry or clothes, stuff. You, you know. want to buy her a present? Yeah, yeah I okay. want to get her a present. She's just, she's just a friend, yeah. but I want to get her something really cool. She's a good friend. What do you think? Um, maybe you can give her a coupon, like a gift card to mm -hmm. a, some store. I don't like know. Zara or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah like Zara. I don't know. Depends on what she likes. Yeah, she likes clothes and stuff. Yeah, so maybe the gift card would work for her. This is the kind of PUA opinion opener. Um, it's very good in that it will often get you into a conversation. So it's a good choice here. Um, it's pretty much guaranteed to work, so if you have something like this for real, or if you want to use the one in this uh, clip, then it will actually work in the bars. Good choice. Yeah, you know, she's a really good friend of mine. We met like, um, I don't know, three, four years ago. And oh, she always okay. gives me really nice presents for my birthday. So Like what? I'll, well, she's always so creative. Uh, she sent me like to painting classes oh. one time. Um, another time she That's had business cards printed for me because I didn't have any and they were kind of funny and cool. Like always really, really interesting. So I wanted to get her something nice. And, you know, she's a very fashionable girl. She always likes shopping and things like that. Mm -hmm. So I know that it's like her favorite area. So I should definitely get her something to do with fashion and clothes yeah. and stuff. And, you know, I saw you and she's kind of, you know, something similar to both of you, like kind of your hair okay. color. But then kind of similar eyes to, to you uh, and your wasn't Like yeah. a mix of us? Yeah, something <laughs> like that. So that's why I thought you were the right girls to ask about it. So you think I should get her a voucher, yeah? Um, maybe, but you can also buy her a workshop for like a styling something, ah, you know? That's good. Maybe because you just that. said she did the same for you. Yeah, 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 yeah she did. This one. Yeah, maybe that's better because then she doesn't know how much it costs. And then I could send yeah. her. But I don't know what days she's free, but I guess I could just get like a general one and then she calls up and says when she's free and she can book it herself. But I've already like uh, paid. It depends and, on her, you know. Well, um, and what, we... do you know any website or something? Oh, no, maybe you should no. Google it. Yeah, Okay, yeah, I can sorry, Google I it know. as well. Google's good. Did can we always use Google. help you? Yeah, you've been very helpful. Yeah, thank you All for right. that. All right, no and problem. We just like been, we haven't seen together. For a long time. Yeah, for a long time. You're just catching so. up and stuff. Yeah, okay, well, can we? Look, I could take your number and then I'll text you to say whether she liked it or not. And then you oh. know whether it was a good idea. I'm fine. Thank you. I I'm know, fine. you're very fine. <laughs> so that's why we could keep in touch. What do you think? No, I'm all right. Thank you. Yeah, you're all right. Yeah. Oh, you're all right. <laughs> no, That's fine. I have a boyfriend. Ah, okay. boy. Oh, no, yeah. not again. Okay, well, look, it was lovely to meet you. Yeah, it was nice to meet and you. Good just... luck. Thank you. No See problem. you. Bye. Bye. Yeah, another one. <laughs> See. So important when you've got this kind of opener that you get off it at some point. So don't stay on the subject. You should have transitioned out of there. Oh, that's great advice. Thank you very much. No problem. I think she'll like that, yeah. 
So my name's Richard, by the way. Anastasia. Nice to meet you. Nice to oh, that's meet a nice you. name. Oh, thank you. That's a good name too. I'm Richard. <laughs> that's a nice name. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it was a like old English name from oh, yeah? kings and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's correct, because, you know, I've trained guys all over the world and I see them getting into these kind of present openers, opinion openers, and staying on that subject for five minutes until it dies out and then they have to get out, out of there. So it's very important to transition quickly and a nice way to do it is just to introduce yourself and get their names. So how do you know each other? Uh, from school. From school? Yeah, ah, like well, university. When you were, ah, yeah, university. Yeah, college. Not school, like five no, years no, no, old. No, no, no. Okay, mm. and uh, so you were in the same class or something, yeah? Uh, no, we studied different classes. Okay, let me guess. So I <laughs> think that you studied fashion <laughs> and I think you studied drama. Is that exactly right? No, no. opposite. The opposite? So oh, you opposite. studied fashion and she studied no. drama. No, no. I studied economics. Uh -huh. Yeah, study business. Okay. Yeah, so it no, has nothing, nothing to do with drama and fashion. Not really. Not really. I like that, you know, because a lot of people, they do like, I don't know, some simple, easy subject, but doing business is, is really nice. I like it. Yeah, but it's kind of a common thing to do in here. Yeah? I think so. What? So you think a lot of girls in this bar study business? No. I don't think so. I think, I think they study Instagram. <laughs> oh, right. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Wait, did you do well at university? You got good grades? Uh, yeah, it was fine. Mm. Yeah, it's cool. Well done. <laughs> You'll notice that in the interactions we want to balance validation, you know, saying well done, making the girl feel good, with things that are teasy or challenging. And in this case, it's something that they've worked hard on, it's an achievement, so why not say well done, you know, and give them some validation there for that. So how long have you guys known each other? For so long. I yeah, 40, yes. 42 years? No, no, no. <laughs> seven years. Something. Yeah. Oh, seven. Yeah, oh, I don't, you look very young. Oh, thank joking. you. <laughs> Relief. And you know what? I would guess that she's like the crazy one, yeah? And I think you're the sensible one. So she's getting drunk and you're like, look, chill, come on, let me get you home. Is that right? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, yeah sometimes. It depends, yeah. you know, it depends. Don't be shy. <laughs> she can go crazy. And she's the shy one as well, that's cool. Yeah, she is. A little bit. Nice. And who's the one who, like, um, who gives good advice out of you two? Or who's the one who has problems and then who's the one that gives advice? Uh, we're girls, we always have problems. Of course, yeah. <laughs> we're both, but I think she's more. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, Alright, cool. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I would say we're equal, kind of. Mm -hmm. And have you two ever done the best friends test? Have you done it? Uh, no. no. All right, let's do it right now. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, what shampoo do you use? Ah, uh, <laughs> there we go. Uh, you don't even need to tell me. You've already passed the best friends test because best friends, they communicate unconsciously. So when you ask people, oh. yeah. <laughs> If people are very good, you just did it, it again. <laughs> so if people are really good friends, they always kind of look and then, you know, give the answer if someone okay. asks them something. And yes. if you weren't good friends, you just answer directly. But it's like you're communicating something. Yeah, there you go. There you go again. Because just by the, way, the look in the eyes, you communicate so much when you know I each other very well. I pay attention on this. Too. Yeah, pay attention. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely true. Maybe I would do this kind of test. Yeah, try it. <laughs> There you go again. Yeah. <laughs> stop counting. All right, stop. This will work. It's a you know famous PUA routine. If you learn it, it's something you can go out and use in the bars and clubs. I've seen it work all over the world. And so you can do it. It's just a routine, so it's a bit, you know, it's a bit lame. Um, in some ways to have something prepared but if you want to guarantee having conversations with girls then learning a few of these things is a nice way to get your social skills up and get comfortable talking to beautiful women because they are very engaging. So what were you doing before you came here? 
We went for dinner. Ah, uh, dinner, nice. Where'd you go? Italian? Or... <laughs> no. <laughs> we had some fast food. Yeah, like burgers and fries. Well, I woke up like, I think 10, I think it was like 12, 10, 10, 12, yeah, just after 10. And I didn't get up immediately, but then I got up and I went to the um, to the other room. I've got um, television and I've got PlayStation. So of course mm -hmm. I was playing, I was playing the new Assassin's Creed game. Do you play that? No. Oh, it's really cool. You've got to try So you're like this guy and do you know Assassin's Creed in general? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like killing people, running around and stuff. Yeah. And I'm on the last level, so I've got like three memory sequences left. And I'm trying to get all the trophies in it, so it's going mm -hmm. really well. So um, is that your interest? Yeah, but that was just like two hours. Then um, I had some food, because I don't like eating immediately when I wake up. So I just had some food, had a bath. And while I was in the bath, I, I listened to an audio book. Um, listen to this one, what is it called? Uh, Evolution of Everything, really mm -hmm. interesting. Um, about, I don't know, everything from science to economics and okay. whatever. This was an opportunity to do something a little bit better. You know, you haven't blown it with this choice, but it's not the best option. This won't mess things up, but it's not the best course of action because you do want the girls to understand which one of them you like. So what do you chicas like to do in your spare time? How about you, <laughs> Anya? I like to dance. You're a dance? Oh, don't say that about yourself. Mm. What did you say? I like to dance. Ah, dancing. Yeah, yeah. nice. Okay. What <laughs> yeah. else? And um, I go to the gym a lot. All right, cool. And how about you? Oh. I have so many interests. Um, I watch movies. I'm crazy about TV shows. I'm like yeah. a freak. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Funny. Mm -hmm. And I also like love playing with my dog. But that's interesting actually because I was reading uh, this thing like a what was it in journal of psychology or something and okay. it said that um, people with pets and especially dogs and is it a boy or a girl? Or a, dog? a boy. Ah, perfect. It said that um, people with opposite sex pets who uh -huh. really like them and you said you did. Um, it means they're really caring people in general in life. So. Oh. Yeah, it's very interesting Maybe, actually. Yeah, that's interesting. So it's the kind of idea that, you know, you meet someone and then if you find out they really like animals, they have a pet, yeah. it means they're, you know, you can trust them and they're probably huh. a good person. That's interesting. Cool, yeah. hey? Yeah. And is it true about her? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Whether you love animals or not, it doesn't matter. You have to understand that she does, right? So it's something that you shouldn't turn into a joke, be rude about or, you know, contradict. Why not say something positive about it? And there's an example that you can use all the time because a lot of girls love dogs or cats. Listen, can you tell her to just stop talking so much? She's just talking all the time. Is she always like that? Oh. <laughs> no, I'm joking because she doesn't really say yeah. much. Huh? But she's Quiet. sweet. She seems very sweet. Yeah, she is. You're sweet. Thanks. <laughs> Listen, girls, I've got a great question. Where do you see yourselves in five years? Oh, that's that. It's like a boring interview question. Uh, like a job interview, right? Yeah, I feel like yeah. I'm in a job interview, yeah, not in a bar. That. Um, typical interview question, but as you see in an interaction with pretty girls, it doesn't go. But you girls are in pretty good shape, so I think you must do more than jogging. You do some sports. Well, sometimes I play squash, but cool. not as often as I maybe wish. <laughs> okay, I play a little bit as well. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. That's great. What else? Anything else? Uh, I used to play basketball when I was in college, yeah. but yeah, it was a long time ago. And... <laughs> hmm, that's cool as well. Yeah. You watch the NBA anymore. or you don't watch it? Uh, I used to, yeah. I was crazy about it. But yeah, I have my job now and I don't have plenty of time, so mm -hmm. I don't watch it anymore All that right. often. Yeah. 
Because do you like psychology tests? Mm -hmm. Things um, like that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah I can try. Well, who yeah. doesn't? Come on. I don't know. It's interesting. Of course yeah. it is. Yeah. Have you done this one called Strawberry Field Psychology Test? No. Okay, Have try no. try this right now with me, both of you, okay? okay? So maybe close your eyes. It will help. So close your eyes and you imagine you're walking in some beautiful place and then up ahead you see a field of strawberries. And tell me, um, there's a fence around it. How high is the fence? Just show me with your hands how high it is. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice one. All right. That's enough. And then yeah, you can put your hand down. And then uh, the next thing, so you go in there and you want to eat some strawberries. How many strawberries do you eat? What's your answer? I will eat as many as I can. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, how about you? Me too. Loads of strawberries. Yeah, okay. Loads of strawberries. Ah, but then you've eaten all the strawberries, you're leaving and then the farmer comes mm -hmm. and he's like, you ate all my strawberries. And then what do you say back to him? I would just say, I'm sorry. <laughs> what would you say? I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I was hungry. Okay. All right. You can open your eyes. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to tell you what it means, right? Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. So the first one, how high the fence is, that's your barrier to sex. Yeah. Now, if you can be bothered to learn this, it actually is another thing that works. Again, it's prepared, um, so it's not ideal. We don't want you to just learn a bunch of stuff and, and go out and repeat it. But if you do find yourself in a boring situation, you know, a date that's not going so well, uh, talking to a girl and you think she's not that into you, why not have it ready? You know, it's quite interesting. And you can always just say it's a psychology test that you um, saw online, right? So what do you guys do? What about you, Anya? I have a fashion store. Oh yeah, selling clothes? Yeah. Nice. You? Um, <laughs> I don't work at the moment. Unemployed? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Anya, why don't you just hire her? She can work if you like. Can you sew and do all this stuff? Like in the Nike sweatshop? <laughs> no, no, I'm not good at it. Yeah. I don't think so. What about selling stuff, cleaning well, the yeah, shop? Yeah, I can do that, yeah. yeah. Hire your friends, come on, you've <laughs> got to help her out. No. Why not? No, she's useless. She's useless. <laughs> no, Couldn't I even think clean. Not for sure. This Aww, kind of work. Oh, that's you. sweet. Okay. I was only joking. <laughs> It's actually quite a big deal for her to have this going on in her life. So to make it that silly, it's maybe not the, the best thing to do. Wouldn't get you blown out, but it's not, the, it's not the best option here. You could have done better. You girls seem really nice, but do you have any bad habits? No. Drug abuse? No. no. Cigarettes? No. Ah, alcohol. Got that's, you. That's, that's not a bad habit. Cheers. No, no, cheers. Your liver's very happy with that. That's yeah. all right. Anya, you have a really honest face. I think you couldn't tell a lie. Yeah? So answer me this. How many drinks would it take for her to fuck, do you think? <laughs> Two what? or three? What? Four? Uh, impossible. Five? Impossible. impossible. Not for you, my dear. Come on, how many? <laughs> just a few more and then she's like, oh, yeah, come no, to me, baby. No, just shut up. No. Useless talk. Yeah, I know. Yeah, right. Please. Don't bother us. Okay. So she's ready now. She doesn't need any drinks. Even if I was too drunk. Yeah, what would we do, babe? It would be good. I right? wouldn't have sex with you. You wouldn't? What would no. you do? Blowjob? <laughs> nope. Nothing. Zero. Kiss. Zero. Zero. Touch. No. Oh, that's just boring. You girls are boring. Yeah, okay. Yeah, fine. Okay. Maybe yeah. the world's most boring girls. Yeah, well, Congratulations. Could be. Yeah. Thanks. You Thanks. won. You mm -hmm. won. <laughs> And that was a very good example of just, you know, not saying everything you think. So, Anya, I, I don't know why, but I trust you. You seem very honest. So tell me, is she a good girl? Yeah, she's a nice girl and very intelligent. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> she's nice, yeah, that's sweet. Yeah, she's a good, good friend. friend. Right. 
instead of directly saying, you know, I like you, a nice way to do it is to bring the friend in and ask questions about the girl you like. I've seen this work all over the world and it's the right choice. Well, that's good that you were honest and told me that. Ah, actually, I'm honest. Yeah. Um, I want to tell you, uh, she has a boyfriend. She has a boyfriend? <laughs> You got a boyfriend? Yeah. Oh, how long have you been together? For like a year. Oh, that's so sweet. So you're going to yeah. get married? I don't think so. I don't oh, know. Oh, no, that's really bad. So why? What's, what's wrong with him? I don't know. We just have something. Yeah, problems. Uh, yeah. Unresolvable, yeah. interminable problems. But yeah, that's I think okay. So. I'm sure you still have some nice things in your relationship. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. That's true. Excellent, because this allows you in a smooth way uh, to find out how serious they are in the relationship. Because if they're very, very serious, you want to back off. If they're not so serious, why not keep in touch with the girl, keep her around, and who knows, one day when she's sing single, Well, look, I don't want to disrespect your, your dude, so uh -huh. would he mind us talking? No. Like if he was watching us right now and we were like, he would be okay? Yeah. Yeah? If we took selfie and he saw it, it'd be okay? Mm, yeah, I think so. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, he's kind of chilled, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Nice. That's good, right? Yeah. Not too jealous. This works psychologically because you're taking away her independence. You're saying, well, would, you, would he allow you? to talk to me like are you allowed to do that so she's gonna want to say of course i'm allowed i do what i like and you know our relationship's fine we don't you know i'm, I'm allowed to talk to other men she's not going to want to say actually i'm not allowed and you know i shouldn't do it because he controls me and tells me exactly what to do so it's the right option Did you make any plans for later? Are you going to go no, carry on the night? No plans. Yeah? How about tomorrow? You don't need to wake up because you're, well, I mean, you're not working at the moment. Yeah. And yeah. do you need to open your shop early in the morning? Or yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You do? Yeah. Okay, cool. I, I don't really need to do anything, so I can stay out, sleep yeah, in. Yeah, you can. We need to get catch up <laughs> some beauty sleep. Mm -hmm. I don't need it. Exactly. This is an important step. You're finding out important logistics that will tell you how easy it is going to be later in the evening to uh, take one or both of the girls and do something with them. Well, listen, we should definitely meet again sometime. Hang on, but let me check with Anya first because, you know, she can say. What do you think? You think we would have a good time if we meet? Um, and you trust me, right? You know I wouldn't, like, kill her or something. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> do you have plans right. on that? No, of course not. She trusts me, look. All right, so put your sure. number. Wait, okay. that's only four digits. Oh, no, you finished. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Cool. You have to remember that these girls are going to talk about you after you leave and you want her friends to big you up, to say nice things about you and a good way to do it is to bring her in all through the interaction and here kind of get her approval in an old-fashioned way that, you know, she, she's cool with it. So it's a good thing to do, good choice. Okay, well it's great speaking to you. I'll, I'll leave you yeah. guys to it. Okay. Have a nice time for the rest of the night. Yeah, have a good night. See ya. See ya. He seems a really nice guy, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe you should go out. Yeah, one day. Yeah, cool. This is the kind of PUA opinion opener. Um, it's very good in that it will often get you into a conversation.